Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. Hope you are well. Long time no see. I am back today with my first video in quite some time. So if you stuck around, I really appreciate it. But having a little bit of a break, I'm not going to bore you with it all in this video. I'm going to do a separate video on where I've been. But today's video is an exciting one. It's a Zara haul with some hitch numbers. So I feel like Autumn fashion is definitely ready and raring to go this September. Last year was a bit slower. I feel like the sun was out for longer, so the shops took a little bit slower to get the memo that September means autumn. But this year, wow, I feel like we are ready and raring to go for autumn. So I've actually gone into store to get these things, which is really unlikely because I absolutely hate going physically shopping um but i don't know why i don't know if you guys feel the same but it's just not giving online i mean zara's app and website already is hard to maneuver through there's a woman like advertising some tights like this and you know anything you want to try and visualize yourself wearing on their website you have to be like van gogh to understand you know so i already feel like zara you have to you have to be prepared when you're on the website to shop whereas h&m is usually really good and really easy you're on the app and you're like oh i like that i like this but i feel like this september i don't know whether it's because like i just said everyone's shopping a little bit earlier than last year a lot of things have gone but i found it really hard to do an online order but if you are feeling the same then hopefully this video will make life easier for you because i feel like i've picked up some really good bits so let's start first with zara and what i got i actually went into the leeds white rose shopping center zara and if you're from yorkshire or anywhere near leeds then the city center zara is a war zone whereas the secret hidden gem which i'm obviously going to tell you all about now and not gatekeep the white rose shopping center in leeds the zara there is phenomenal top class 1010 there's just always something to find there and the layout of the shop there's just it's just a great zara probably one of my favorite zaras in the uk you can always guarantee you're gonna find something that you like in there and it's a tranquil calm shopping experience there's always sizes there's always lots of different places to go the store flows really nicely so i did pick up quite a few bits starting with this jacket i've gone for a lot of jackets because i feel like at this time of year we really need a transitional jacket to bring everything together whereas majority of us already got like a good pair of leggings a good hoodie tops that kind of thing whereas a key statement jacket jacket blazer coat really brings all these pieces together so saw this could not resist 35 pounds i've gone for it in a size large and it is the jacket and what i really like about the jacket is the length i feel like cropped jackets are really in i did actually try on this viral leather i'm gonna put a photo here the viral leather molly may leather jacket I was trying it on, I was telling myself, I think I need this, I'm gonna wear it a lot. And then while I was in Zara and around the White Rose, I must have seen at least 26 girls wearing that jacket. And I thought, Do you know what? No, I feel like it's literally got maybe two month lifespan and then it's gone and people don't wanna wear it anymore. So it won't go into next year. Whereas if you were lucky enough to buy it last year, then you can definitely get away with wearing it again in this autumn transitional period. But I personally would not buy that jacket right now i feel like it's got a very short lifespan whereas this cropped jacket i feel like is going to go with loads of different things i'm going to style it up for you so this is how i'm styling it up i feel like it's going to look really cute with leggings and some uggs i've literally just ordered a new pair of uggs and i will link them down below the ones i'm going for again if you hear from last year guys you know the mini uggs and any uggs <laughs> will go by the middle of september you will not be able to buy uggs i know for a fact they're just people are going crazy for them again this year so i feel like jump on the ugg bandwagon early and the same with new balance which you've seen me wear with the shaka these new balance go still out so quickly as well around autumn but both of them are just so good for being able to mix and match daytime outfits with and most of all just be comfortable like i love nothing more than autumn being a cozy comfy girl so i feel like both of those shoes are really good buys for selling with loads of outfits and bits that i'm sharing with you today from zara and h&m 
So yeah, I think this one was a hit. I really like it. I've got that one in a size large. I'm probably going to style this up loads as well on my Instagram and TikTok if you don't already follow me on either of those platforms. I've linked that down below for you. You can find me on there again, but it is actually just Emily Lucy Ratch, the same as my channel. So if you don't already follow me, make sure you do and you will get to see loads of different ways that I'm going to style all of these bits over autumn. Then I could not go to Zara in autumn without picking up a striped knit because I just love a striped knit so much. This one is an improved version, I think, from last year. The quality and the texture of the fabric feels a lot nicer than last year's because last year's bobbled so quickly. I was very upset about that. Whereas this feels like a new and improved. And I also feel like they've made it a little bit shorter. I've gone for this one in a size medium and it is £35, £35.99. Um, and I feel like this is going to look really good again with just your standard leggings and Ugg boots or dress it up with some leather trousers and some nice boots and a big coat as it starts to get colder. You could even wear it for work, put like a white collared shirt under there as well, which will look really nice. I personally wouldn't put it with jeans. I feel like it's going to give like 90s mum vibe if you go for it with jeans. I like to go for more of like a chic style of like Parisian blacks with it. No blue denim I feel like it's not for me that vibe whereas it's just such a nice chic jumper when you put it with leather trousers or you put it with just like a nice black trouser or even like a grey jean I just really like those as a staple to wear and just one of those things where you're like oh it's Sunday I can't be asked. I just want to find something comfortable to wear but still look put together and like I've made an effort then that is my go-to striped jumper some really nice good quality leggings a nice little Ugg or my New Balance trainers and a big camel coat and I'm good to go. feel like I am literally walking the streets of Paris, but I'm not. I'm probably in Farsley in Leeds. So <laughs> that's, that's my go-to this autumn. Love a striped jumper. Then we have got this little tea dress. So I feel like I was completely done with tea dresses. I felt like I was like moving on. I didn't want to wear ties and tea tea dresses or skater dresses all autumn again but I actually did a post on Instagram of a tights outfit with a dress and it really made me realise how much you guys love this style and it is super flattering and actually when I looked back at the video and I saw how much it suited me I thought do you know what this is why you've shared so many of this style of dress before because it is super flattering for my body shape mid-size style plus size it's just a really good go-to item of clothing to have in your wardrobe so if you don't already have a tea dress or a skater dress then I feel like now is a really good time to buy because not only will this look great with a cropped jumper which I'm going to share here and boots with tights I actually think it'll transition really well through spring summer too so you can dress it up with some heels and like a nice little bag for spring denim jacket or trainers it's going to be a really good all year round staple to have and i saw it and i just thought it's ticking all the boxes i love a soft sleeve like this i think it's really really flattering on the shoulders and the arms then it's got this nice tight waist so it's really bringing you in at the waist and it's also a great length it's not too long it's not too short so i had to pick this up i've got this one in a size medium and it's 35.99 zara loves a 35.99 i've noticed but yeah i love this i think it'll be a really good all year rounder and like i just said it looks great with the crop jumper, boots, and a pair of sunglasses. It really brings it all together for those transitional days in September where you want to look nice, put together, but it's getting a little bit colder, but you still want to have fun and wear cute dresses and nice coats and cute outfits. Then we have this incredible dress. I was not going to pick this up. I saw it in the shop. I was drawn to it like a moth to the light. I was like... <gasps> amazing the texture i don't know if you can see this on camera it is like a rib texture it's not silky it's actually like a ribbed knit fabric and i looked at it and thought i do not need you i'm not going anywhere i'm in hibernation season now i do not need any reason to go out drinking but it called me back three or four times i walked past it again i was like oh i feel like it'll be good to have i feel like it'll be a good autumn autumn dress for if i do go anywhere up until christmas party season then we're moving on to H&M. Again, I feel like I wanted more from H&M, so I wanted to do a full H&M haul, but I don't know if it's because I bought so much from H&M last year that a lot of the stuff is just the same as last year, so I don't want to repeat myself. But I've only got like one or two pieces. The first thing I'm going to show you is this cardigan, which I'm wearing with these Hera 
joggers, which I love, and this ELR style bodysuit, which is from my brand. No bra needed. It's super supportive. It's really great for dressing up or dressing down. I just always feel so comfortable in these bodysuits. But I just needed something to like bring all these outfits together. So this is kind of my look where I'm like in the house, but I might nip out to the shop and do my supermarket shopping, or I might go to the hairdressers in this outfit and feel like comfortable. I'm sat there all day having my hair done. Or I might even wear this to work in the office. <laughs> but obviously it's a bit of a different office. It's a fashion office, so it's not gonna be, you know, your corporate office. But this is the kind of look I like where I feel like I look put together but I'm very comfortable and especially as we go into autumn and it's getting colder, I wanna be able to just, you know, put a nice cardigan on over my outfit and feel nice. So this is what I've gone for. It's a really good length. It's longer than your usual cardigan that kind of ends there and it looks really like, I don't know, mumsy and boxy. This is like a really nice long length. So this is how it looks all together as a full outfit here. But I just feel like it's just missing a nice cute Ugg boot there. I'm just waiting for them to arrive, like I said. Um, because I only have black and green left from last year. My original camels have been my dog walking boots for the last year, and they are absolutely annihilated. So I do suggest not wearing your Uggs on really rainy days because they will not last. Um, but yeah, I really love this look. I feel like it's just the answer to my cozy, comfy girl needs to stay indoors or nip to the shop vibe, but still look put together and feel nice. Or even like a good work from home outfit, if you guys are still working from home, then this is a really good one. And the bodysuits in chocolate are all coming back in stock. We've just relaunched the ELR, which is the higher neck racer bodysuit, and then the Sunny is still available too. The joy neckline, which is the scoop with the thicker sleeves, that one's coming back in the next few weeks. And also the t-shirt Lauren one is coming and all of the long sleeve ones in chocolate too. So they do tend to go really fast and we only restock them at the start of autumn. So if you are interested in a really good long lasting basic that is worth every single penny for quality and price, then head over to Eli Style, I've linked it down below. And I actually might even be able to put the shop bit underneath, I've not figured that out how to do that yet, but hopefully you can just click on the picture and buy it down below. Then this jumper dress I saw online and I was like, oh, that looks amazing. I actually think I saw it on somebody else's haul, I can't think who it is. I watched a haul and I thought, oh, that would look really good. So I got it. It is a skater knitted dress. I did actually have one from Zara that I wore in Paris at the start of the year and you guys loved it and I really loved it too. I thought this was like an enhanced version of that because the only thing about the other one from Zara was it wasn't ribbed so I felt like it really like highlighted my tummy a little bit. Whereas this one is completely ribbed and I love how the rib like meets in the middle in this way. I think it's really, really flattering and this colour as well is a great one to have every single year. It's not going to, you know, be a trend where we just see it come and then it goes away like a green or a pink or anything like that. The only thing I dislike about this is these sleeves. The sleeves are too much. So here is it as a full look. I tried it on with this coat and made it a full look like a daytime gorge jumper dress vibe, which I know so many of you guys love a jumper dress. But the only thing that was annoying me was the sleeves. There is like a split sleeve. So if you can actually deal with the split sleeve, or maybe it's because I have just such small T-Rex arms that they're maybe not as long on you guys, but the sleeve was really driving me insane. I felt like I was like Lauren Slower and Bowen, you know? Like they were just a lot. But other than that, I really like it. And if it really bothers me that much, I can probably have it taken in like so and it will just be like a nice chunky sleeve. But I did really like that look. I feel like the look all together looks really nice and will be perfect for going into like proper winter where we're doing like Christmassy things, which sounds crazy to think that only two weeks ago we were like enjoying the sunshine and now we're thinking about Christmas. But you know, these things come around really quickly and doing like nice things. I'm sure you guys are also booking things towards Christmas. I've got loads of nice little friends things already going on while we're going to London for the weekend, hopefully going to Paris. So I feel like these kind of knits at the start of the season are an essential to take you all the way through to winter to have something always to wear that you feel nice in and wear with tights and just look, you know, put together like I mentioned. I also picked up this jumper dress, which is from H&M Opposite, and it's like a longer version. This one, oh, I didn't tell you about what the size I got the other one. I got this one in a size medium and I got this one in a size medium too. So 
This is a lot heavier and a lot bigger, but I actually got one from H&M last year. I mean, it was actually the start of this year um, in black and you guys loved that. I'll show you here how I styled it um, with a black coat and it was like really heavy and thick knit material too. But I just felt because the coat was black, the dress was black, it was all just very like, my hair's so dark. It was just a lot. Whereas I thought it'd be nice to try it in, in this like deserty know what you would call this shade it's like a gray brown maybe um to try it all together and see what that looks like so it breaks it up it could look cool with like a camel coat or like a shorter like aviator style jacket would look really nice with this so i've put it here and styled it up in different ways and i don't know i just feel like this again will be like a really nice chunky dress to have for autumn you can wear it with tights and boots or you could just wear it with like trainers as well like it's really a nice one to take you through to winter again pumpkin picking essential where it's like covering you you're nice and warm but you're not wearing like a big chunky coat with it as well so this i think is a really nice addition and i think this one's selling out really quickly too so get on all of these bits if you are interested in them i've linked everything down below and that is it from me this is my first youtube video in what feels like forever which probably is um but i think it actually went quite well and i've enjoyed sitting here i've got a new little chair in the office mirror i'm just feeling like this is a good new little spot to do my videos um so hopefully i'll be back every single week now i have filmed a video of like where i've been why i've been having a break hopefully you can see my new teeth they are straight i'll tell you more in the next video but thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all thank you for sticking around and supporting me while i've had a bit of a break i'm feeling fresh i'm feeling good it was so worth having a break and i will catch you in the next video which is going to be a really good one too